Hello, my name is Chloe and I'm an intern at Pencilish. I'm going to show you guys my process for drawing these little end of the short illustrations that pop up in the cat fact shorts. But basically what these are, are within the short, there's a little cat that'll read a fact to you out of a book, and then it'll cut to like an end skit, like punchline sort of thing. So that's what these illustrations are. They're the little punchlines of sorts. And so I start with the storyboard. I did this storyboard and I just draw on top of it. I refine the drawing a bit, but I don't go too crazy at first <laughs> because these shorts are supposed to be very simple. They're very short. That's why they're called shorts. And we're releasing them somewhat regularly. So we want to be able to make, make them within a reasonable time frame. So this guy, I, I have maybe some gradients some pretty simple colors, but like, I don't get like shading in there, you know? I keep it very simple. Now this little process, you'll see at the very end, I tossed some mountains in there because this, this is supposed to be near the Ganges River and I looked it up and I said, oh, it's not just flat land, there's some mountains nearby. I should make that accurate to how the actual place looks. So I did that. Now I'm not gonna give you guys context for these punchline, short things whatever if you haven't seen them you're gonna need to go watch them or wait for them to come out i'm not i don't want to i don't want to clue you in you're gonna need to go find out on your own but for this next one these boards were also by me and we have some cute little rats having a cute little dinner date so i'm showing you guys these little speed draws in the order in which i did them i'm gonna show you guys three and i feel like each one got a little more complex but I was, I was having fun with them and we're on schedule, so it's all okay. So for these guys, I get some line art, line out out first, do the line art. And then from there, I throw in some colors. From this point on in the line art, I start to move a little more forward with the environment than was shown in the boards. So I threw those little lights up there cause it feels very cute and romantic to me. Now, is it logical that they're just floating in the air? No, but does it really matter in this context? I don't think so. Um, got some nice bushes behind them with some roses. And so then I start to go in with the color and I, I wanted this to feel very romantic and cute because they're having a candlelit dinner. Even though they're big old rats, they're allowed to have cute romantic moments. So I try to stick with those nice romantic sort of like purples and pinks and and some indigo. I didn't know what I wanted to do for this lighting. It wasn't working for me. But in the end, we got some pink. And then this scene has a zoom out. So I wanted to make sure that the zoom in we start on is high quality, high definition, not not how it looks zoomed in before this. So I tried to match up the colors and make sure it worked. That is what that's the drawing for that skit. This one, by this third one, I think I went a little too overboard on this in terms of how how detailed I guess it is. This is a very sci-fi vibe. We've got like the tube chamber. And so I was I was really wanting it to feel very sci-fi, very fun. So this is actually, I think, the only one that I did an outright sketch layer on. I think all the others, I just did straight up line art and said, oh, that's good enough and moved on with color. But this one, because I wanted it to feel that like futuristic sci-fi whatever vibe, I couldn't just like crank that out without sketching it out first. Here I go in and I make sure that I'm getting the perspective, I guess you would call it, correct in terms of the curvature of the surface. And so we've got those other lines little futuristic glowing lines that I have no idea what they would do in a real like scientific instrument whatever but it just feels right for this sort of thing you know to give you guys I guess I said I wouldn't give you that much context but just so you know what this is that I'm drawing this is a cloning chamber an imaginary sci-fi cloning chamber not a real one but then I move in with the color and I was trying to figure out because I had a couple options. I was like, I could 
could be like a dark blue or I was thinking we could have like some red lighting but I went with green because we already had a couple kind of blue centric ones like my one with the rats was like kind of like purpley blue and I was like I don't know I want this to feel distinct and as I did more green I, I figured out I think it was the right choice I think that the green works now one reason I was thinking very much about how I what color I wanted the lighting in this to be is because at the end there's one more drawing that's in this little skit ending thing where it's a door the doorway to this room and so I wanted the light like coming out from under the door and like the window in the door that very dramatic very dramatic lighting and I was like you know some red light could look really cool coming out that door blue light eh, maybe not as much but then I was like you know what green light would also look cool and so I ended up choosing and sticking with the green. And I'm very happy with how the green looks. I think it's a, I think it's a cool color scheme. Now you can see with the, the little lighting and reflections that I did in this whole thing. It's a little more in depth than the other ones. But I mean the background is still just like a gradient. So it's not, it's not that complicated. But this is the longest one. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to mention. These boards are by the wonderful Sophia, another pencilish intern. These boards were not my own, so the original sketch storyboard layer that I'm going off of was not my creation. I am just moving forward with it. And I think that is such a fun thing in a studio setting, especially getting to work with other interns, is taking somebody, somebody's work that they've started and then getting to take it all the way to the next step and work on top of somebody else's work and have somebody else take your work further and see, oh, they did something I never would have done. That collaboration is very fun to me. So I don't know if I already said it. This is David Bowie. It's David Bowie in a cloning chamber. What's going on? I don't know. You'll have to watch. But I was really struggling to, to get his likeness. It just wasn't, I don't know. Like, I really liked Sophia's storyboard sketch. But then when I tried to clean it, I felt like I was killing it. And like, it didn't feel like Bowie anymore. So I really wrestled with that. Of just trying to get his likeness in his hair. I don't know how to draw hair like that. You know, his kind of like spiky mullet thing. In the end... I do think it looks like Bowie, to me at least. I don't know, maybe I failed. Don't tell me if I did. No, actually do tell me. I don't know. Does it look like Bowie? Comment down below. Adjusting those colors to make it look like he's in a tank of water floating around. The umbilical cord was a little weird. I wasn't sure if that was how I wanted it to be, but what can you do, you know? So this is the door I was talking about earlier, and I wanted it to feel very ominous. Clearly, based on how Sophia boarded it with like that low camera angle and like the keep out, like we've got that ominous feeling, and I wanted to make sure that carried over into the final drawing. So I got some reference for you know like those like danger, toxic waste, or you know like th that sort of thing. Those signs, I wanted to get that in there. And then the tricky thing with this was color-wise, I wanted the green to stand out. And so one thing I do when I have like a really dark room and I can't figure out how the colors should look is I do the colors normal but then I lower the opacity or I put a color layer on top and so that's how I got those colors feeling right in the dark and then I threw that ominous green lighting on on there and we got our final door illustration so those are the little cat facts in skits I hope that you are enjoying the shorts if they're out already if not look forward to them they're a lot of fun and thanks for watching you guys Be sure to subscribe to the Pencilish Studios YouTube channel.